Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here. Welcome back to Starbound, episode 41. Already, holy crap, over 40 episodes in this series. Um, when we left off, we derped around a bit. Um, we kind of checked out a, a volcano, <laughs> volcano, volcano planet. Um, made ourselves universalist armor, which was pretty sweet. You'll have to go and watch me mine and, uh, just dirt my way through it. We're gonna make some salt salad today. Um, I think we're gonna use this for food though. Not all of it's gonna get sold. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. I need some reef pods, some pearl peas, and some coral creep, which I have here on my lovely farm. Um, that's not very lovely, honestly. Don't even look at it, okay? It's ugly. It's disgusting. I'm just kind of farming some stuff. Um,. Yeah, what is hurting me? Oh, I ate a wart weed. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna gather up some stuff. I, I kind of picked through it. Got some rice, got our cocoa picked. Um, just kind of, yeah. Decided to do this. Just so we can move on. <laughs> <coughs> I can get the seeds and come back for this in a minute. So let's get this stuff. Get in there. Let's throw our uh, reef pods in there. Pro peas. Man, we got a ton of pro peas. That's probably good um, for now because we still have to fit some uh, coral coral creep in there. I can actually. I can't eat anything because I ate all my rice. I was like, man, I got all this junk. I need to plant some seeds seriously. Like, seriously bad. Like, I should come over here and just, like, plant anything um, seed-related. Let's do some chilies because I really want to grow chilies just because. And we'll come over here and do not egg shoots. I want some oculemons. So we're going to make some oculemon. Uh, we're going to try and get more seeds out of it. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but we will see. Sugar cane is always... Uh, potatoes? No. Pineapples. Dirt urchins. Diota. Current corn. Corn. Cocoa. Cocoa seeds are always good, but I have a... F you know what? I got cocoa seeds. We're throwing them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's come down here, pick this stuff up. Um, how many slots do I got? I got two. One, two. That's it. Okay, let's go make this stuff. So yeah, we're gonna make some, uh, salt salad, was it? I think that's what it's called. Get in here. Oh, I've got everything to make it, too. Sweet. Salt salad. Where are you? Salt salad. Make two. Oh man, oh man, oh man. What do we got? Um, coral, okay. Yeah, I need more coral, coral creep. I need to replant those reef pods too. All right, there's that. Um, I think I got some coral creep seeds, right? I could have swore I just saw them. T2? Reef pod seeds, no, okay. Yeah, seeds are... Man, seed game is a big deal. I mean, you don't want to throw away seeds. Like, I threw away those cocoa seeds, but man, I get so much cocoa from this place. It's not even funny. Like, just this little patch right here. I get a ton of cocoa, guys. Tons of it. <laughs> like, I got 18 on me because I can't make enough chocolate. Um, let's see. I need two of these. I can actually put all those away just so I can assess what I have. Okay, cool. Go here. I can make that with wart weed. I should. What am I doing with my life? Okay. Now the pearl pea. Pearl peas with wart weed. Okay. Um, I can make a few of them. What do I need? I need pearl peas, and I have three wart weed. Perfect. So one, two, three. Come down here. Go to pearl pea parcels. Take them all. 
Beautiful. Ah, uh, now I can make wartweed stew. Yeah, there's so many, so many good recipes in here. Current corn. What? Current corn automato makes that. It's basic glitch cuisine. Um. Ooh. Z mash or zmash. Um. Bubble cor current corn and diota, and it sells really good, guys. Holy crap. 475 in value. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's organize. Got a couple things to eat. I should grab up all of this because it's going to rot anyway. I need a fridge here, seriously, but too lazy to make one. Let's make some money because that's better, right? Okay, now I want to organize. There we go. Actually, what am I doing? could come down here make some risotto at least it would sell better than just regular old pearl peas all right I should grab these too and yeah I'll get rid of these okay I got some rice on me. Let's go to Is it the risotto. Yeah, that's what I'm making. Can't make anything else with what I got. I can make bonbons out of sugar. Um. Yeah, let's just make three. And you know what? I should keep some. Just for food's sake. Or boiled rice in there. <clears throat> um. Yeah. I think that's all right. All right, ship it. Sweet. Oh, look at this. Is that an owl? Just a bird. Bird of some sort. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. Let's go do this mission. I'm pumped for this. Um, thanks again, Ichiro. Man, this guy is just obsessed with making our fuel tank as huge as it can. Um, I've got all this junk in the fridge. <laughs> I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Um, yeah, it's, it's junk. Like, uh, I don't even know what to do with it. Okay, um, man, nothing to do but do it, right? Go up here, make a 1k voxel. Put it away. Uh, it's only 25 pixels. We read that book last time. Soggy paper, why did I keep it? There used to be a mission for it, but I'm just going to throw it away. We'll find one again if we need to. Okay, um, where is my healing station? This is it. Beautiful. Perfect. What am I not using? That's incredible. I'm using everything except for the fishing pole. Um, I don't really need the mic on me. Let's just put it somewhere where I can find it again. There we go. Man, we're getting a bunch of instruments. Okay. Good enough. No time like the present. Let's go. Let's go take down a baron. Uh, the baron's keep. Seems that the glitch artifact belongs to the owner of a small stone keep on a lonely planet. Well, Mr. Baron on a lonely planet. About to taste the pain. This keep belongs to a glitch known as the baron. He is a retired hero and by all accounts a little eccentric. Hmm. Makes me want to sleep in a wagon. Ah, nice try. <gasps> Am I going to get a hat? I didn't read that. Details of the wager. Uh, I, Axelbrass Fusamp third, hereby wager my keep and lands in a game of clunky jacks with the Baron. 
and he, and herewith promised to provide the Baron with deeds to said property in the unlikely event that he wins. Should I win, I sh will be showered with the Baron's riches, and I will win because I am really good at clunky jacks. Um, okay. <laughs> Seems awfully confident, doesn't he? Okay, and you can't go up there. Oops. I meant to go wee, but... All right. Prepare yourself, Baron. For Muley has come. Man, it is awful quiet around here. That usually means trouble, right? Wow. Hmm. Magic scroll. Ooh, dear Baron Codex, I kindly and for the final time request that you stop proposing legislative edicts. Additionally, I would once again like to make it clear that you are entirely unable to pass laws. To restate, you have no authority, authoritative power. Please, please stop. Sincerely, Lord President of the Privy Council. Man, someone don't like him. His authority. Authority. Oh, man. You guys, Muley's getting his stuff in Starbound. Give me a hat, baby. I need the wizard hat. Hello. Aff affable. Hello, stranger. Welcome to my keep. I've been expecting you ever since you walked through the door. Ha ha ha. Ah, I get it. Uh, attentive. What's that? You have a request? Something? Uh, yes, I found it some years ago. Oh, the thing. Uh, you can't have it. It's pretty and I like it. Imperious. Well, goodbye then, stranger or strange person. Startled. Do you hear that? What do I hear? Those cloaked vagrants back again. This is the fourth time. Oh, really? Well, bring it. Decisive. Right. I propose a trade. You get rid of these loathsome cultists for me. I give you this shiny bauble. Deal. <laughs> ah, bring it. Come on, guys. Man. Okay, punks. Why would I face him with a sword? I got guns. Not a very good gun. I guess it's doing okay. Bring it, punks. Maybe I should eat some food. Outrage! The brigands have rolled in a war machine! Ooh, I like the sound of this. Let's eat some risotto. That should keep me a little safer. A war machine, huh? Oh! Things taking it down, holy crap. 
No mercy. No mercy. Get in there, Muley. Oh, man. Okay, I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. My job is to protect the keep. Man, these guys aren't messing around, are they? Hello, it's me. I'm sorry, but there are more cultists coming. Please don't worry, though. We're going to help. I just get... er... We're going to help. I just get in the way, but the others are coming soon. Sweet. Reinforcements. Man, I do love... I do love these staffs. Or these wands. Together, they're just... Awesome. dead. Oh, hey, Lana. Oh, sweet. guys aren't messing around. I mean, they aren't particularly strong on their own, but in a group, man, they aren't messing around. Man, they got some hops. Oh, you better run. You better give me a hat. Oh, damn. Yep, here comes Nuru. Oh, hey. That's a fire that hurts me. Up there, new roof. guys are getting wrecked. <laughs> I'm wondering when we're going to see a boss. Because I just have a feeling, well, there's always a boss, but you know what I mean. Oh. Take it. A lot of damage. Ouch. They're gonna appear behind me, I just have a feeling.
Okay. Jubilant! Haha, -ha, that's done for them. We got every last one of those wretched maggots. I could sing. Come here, I want to speak with you. Or speak to you. Alright, man. I gotta go check with my homies, though, real quick. Oh, they're just like, oh, okay. See you later. Hold on, I gotta sleep in this wagon. Take a little wagon nap. Okay. Now let's go speak. I guess I could have taken a hay nap. What are they shooting at? Are they just shooting at nothing? Impressed. Brilliant work. I doubt I'll suffer or suffer a return visit from them. Hmm. You remind me of young me. You've certainly earned your bauble. Shocked. What's that in the sky? Oh no! What is it? Old guy. Speechless. A bone dragon. Oh, is this... <gasps> oh my gosh. This is the bone dragon from like the original. Like, oh, the early, early beta had the bone dragon, guys. The bone dragon is not something you mess around with too much. You know what I mean? Sets the ground on fire. He's a meanie. not even kidding around. And there are a lot of little guys. I need some passive healing. Oops. Food. Okay. Oh, I got hit direct. That hurt. All right, Bone Dragon. Tankin' baby. I got hops, baby. Oh, you guys are getting hurt. I need a heal. Guys are getting wrecked right in your faces. Oh, whoo! <laughs> Cautious, is it gone? Are you intact? If it's gone, I need to talk to you. Oh man, that was friggin' sweet. What are you guys still shooting at? Seriously, they're just—I don't know. Okay, I want to check for things though. Yeah, he doesn't drop nothing. I think there's a chest at the end nowadays, though. Man, I have been rocking it on the bosses, my friends. Have I died on a boss yet? I might have. Uh, galvanized. Take the artifact and take me too. Whoa, buddy. I have a teleporter you can use. I'm coming with you. I think this business needs sorting out. Reflective, also. It's quite boring here. <laughs> Sweet. Cool. I'll take it. Glitch artifact, my friends. Woo! Oh, man. Look at that. Golden medallion. Stud. Uh, invigorated. Out into the great unknown, the Baron has joined the outpost. Nice. 
And a chest full of goodies. What do we got? The Bone Dragon Codex. Uh, barons aren't, or dragons aren't real. Not even the Bone Dragon. But with the Bone Dragon, you get the, re the semblance of reality. The stainless steel robot is enclosed, or encased in tough and durable Simubone TM. Uh, the most bone-like substance is in the known universe. When you, per when you purchase the Bone Dragon, not only do you get a realistic uh, f facsimile uh, of a dragon, you also get those classic dragon traits. The gift of flight, red hot fiery breath, and a pre uh, predilication. Man, they use some words in this one. Uh, predilication for murder. But there's more. The Bone Dragon is automated with multifunction preset capabilities and an intuitive control system. Limited stock available. Buy now. Excluding actual bone. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's a big sales pitch, I guess. Uh, we got a diamond. Sweet. 20 iron. Cool. And a fire axe that I'll never use. It's one-handed, though. I just don't... I don't know. I'm more of a spammer. But we will definitely sell it. Is that a legendary? Uncommon. Okay. So it's not a huge deal. We'll take that, too. Why not? Alright, my friends. That's the glitch. The glitch artifact. Now we have to go talk to Esther, and she says, Oh, I could have done that. Not really. She doesn't ever say that, but... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, man. What about you? What are you going to give me today? Jump boost. Uh, uh, yeah. This place is... I like this place. It's spooky. Okay. Esther, don't give me no crap. I'm so proud of you after all you've done. I know that you're equal uh, to the challenge we face. And as far as... As for the woman you fought again... Er... As for the woman you fought, again, my old journal might give you some answers. And as for the woman you fought again, oh, oh, okay, that was the, um, the one we fought, where was that? Is that at the bottom of the Hylodal quest? Um, my old journal, okay, yeah, it was her, um, her, uh, apprentice or something like that. Esther's journal and reward bag. Sweet. I'm going to read this right now. Uh, Protector's journal, entry 6901. The devastation we found at the settlement was truly distressing. Barely a structure was left standing. And only one survivor, a, scar a scared young girl, alone among the wreckage. Judging by the girl's account, the outlaws were a diverse group. Florins, Apex, and Avians, amongst others desperate people doing terrible things. This girl has lost her home and her family all in one blow. But I'll protect her. Her name is Asra Knox. Yep, that's her. And she, that was a fun fight. Uh, Asra, Asra is doing so well. She's a lifetime away from being the frightened girl I found in those far-off ruins. Every time she's grown in confidence, or over time, she's grown in confidence and her natural intelligence has flourished. She really keeps me on my toes. Sometimes, though, when she's still and quiet, when she thinks no one sees, I catch glimpses of a deep sadness in her. How can I protect her from the pain that lingers within her? The protectorate has become too stressful for Asra of late, uh, so I've brought her with me to aid me in my research. Perhaps a little space and time will settle her. My exploration has taken us to a small planet orbit orbiting a remote star, far away from any civilization, but, but perhaps closer to the answers I seek. Asra has been a huge help. I hope one day her wits will grow into wisdom. <clears throat> I've discovered a terrible secret, deciphered it from the ancient writings carved into these walls. They tell of an archaic force of unspeakable might, tethered but unresting. A powerful being driven to destroy all life. Something must be done. But what hope uh, do we have against the ruin? I've made a deplorable mistake. Last night I shared my findings with Asra. 
and as I explained my discovery, she became agitated. I wanted to stop, but she wouldn't let me finish speaking until I'd clarified every last point. I worried I was upsetting her, but as I concluded, she boiled over into tremendous excitement. She told me I was wrong, that I misinterpreted my finding, or that I was misinterpreting my findings, that at last we'd found proof of what she'd always known. She began raving, saying terrible things. She believes the ruin to be a cleansing force that will destroy all inferior life in the universe. That it will leave only the worthy intact. She was talking about humans. She wants to release the ruin, to aid it. I tried to reason with her, but she would not see sense. Her excitement became rage, incensed, incensed by my ignorance. I reached out to her, but she pushed me away. I pleaded with her to, but to no avail. She left. My Asra, my little girl, is gone. Man, that's sad. Esther, I have a new respect for you. I'm sorry I keep saying mean things to you. Um, it's time for me to don the cloak of the mule. Get a damn hat. <laughs> there we go. Man, I need to find my hat so bad. I have something to tell you, dear, and something to show you. It's time for me to ask you, or ask more of you than I've ever asked before. I believe you're ready for this task. Do you? I think I am. Only one artifact missing now. Yes, and according to our research... Actually, we appear to not have any recorded data on the final artifact. Correct. The reason being that it has been in our possession all along. The matter manipulator that I'm holding is the, is the only one of its kind. It's the original, the Master Manipulator, and it also happens to be the artifact gifted to the humans. Can I trade you? No! No! Esther, why? Oh my gosh. Oh, that doesn't look ominous or anything. Well, yeah, um, yeah, Esther, I'm here whenever you need me, dear, especially if you'd like a, what, mint humbug. Well, you stand next to this creepy portal, Esther. Uh, thanks for giving away my master manipulator. This place is fascinating. I have so much research to do. Mm -hmm. I got a shipment of augments straight from the rebel camps. Aww, you're so awesome. I should get an augment. I don't think I have one. No, I have no augment inserted. What the hell am I doing? Thorns augment. Ooh, that'd be the way to go. I'm gonna sell you some junk though. Details of the wager. Dear Baron, Esther's journal. I think I'll keep Esther's journal. She, you know, I don't give her enough credit. <laughs> Take this. Um, what else do I have that's junk? I got all these geodes, but I want to keep them for building or something. Uh, Molotovs. I'll never use them, and you guys know it. And if I use them, I'll use them irresponsibly. What is that? Rotten food. Ooh, there you go. Should stay fresh. Should stay. Should stay fresh. Um, I got some gold. I got some cotton fiber. Man, I got so much junk. Take the silk fiber, I got plenty. Take the cotton fiber, I got plenty. Um, bones. I find them all the time. And yeah, I think that's good for now. And should stay fresh. So I think we're good on food for now. Okay, cool. There you go. Sweet. Where's the other dude? 
Not over here. Oh, that's a lag machine. Get on it, Chucklefish. No. <laughs> Man. So awesome. Oh, look at him, dude. Oh, Royal Throne and everything. Excited. Esther has been showing me how to mend broken protector weapons. If only I could fix up my own rusted body. Ha ha ha. Treasure filled crate. Gimme. Man, I got I got a friggin' sword that I've been saving since the beginning of the game that I should bring to you. Definitely. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna grab the broken short sword or the broken uh my hero blade or whatever the hell it's called. Broken broadsword. We're gonna bring that to him just to see. Let's go to the arc. Yeah, I'm just curious. Oh, this hurt me last time, didn't it? Yep. Ouch. Aha. Impetuous, give me your sword. Hmm, perhaps I should be more specific. Give me your broken broadsword so that I may fix it. Esther has been telling me how, and I possess... Er, and it poses no challenge for a swordsman like myself. However, I will need 10 tech cards to get the job done. Oh, no problem, man. Protector's broadsword. Proud, here it is. Better than new. You're welcome. Pride, my friend, is not. 32, 1.3 in empowerment? And it's a broadsword. Oh my god. Dude, I gotta try it. Oh, I've been waiting so long. What? <gasps> you can straight up He-Man these dudes! Oh my gosh, this is a cool sword. How strong is that? Ooh, I want to test it. I want to test it. Let's go somewhere. Dude, I gotta test the sword. Um, okay. Right here. This will be a perfect testing ground. Man, you can He-Man him with it. Some of you kids are probably too young to remember. Well, back in my day... I have the power! Ah, oh, stupid bunny, here. Just, just calm down. 128? Holy crap, okay. Oh, you turd. Peekaboo. Hey. Hi. Yes! Ah, he's not gonna make it. Oh, that is too cool. Okay, here we go. Hey! Come on. Your mom was a penguin. Oh, damn! That's- Oh! The regular attack does 128? I think it's because of my armor mainly, but... Man, that's crazy. What was I doing before? I wasn't doing that much damage. How about you? Come on, lizard boy. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Okay, yep, we're out of here. You don't want to get hit by a meteorite. It's like instant death. <laughs> anyway, my friends. Man, here we are. Um, it could be the last episode. Already. I have to find a new hat to go with this. Um. Hmm. Man, I need a new hat. I really, really, really want my friggin' wizard hat. Man, it's a bummer I don't have that yet. What do I have for hats? <gasps> it's kinda He Man ish, I guess. Um. Man, the captain's hat? No. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to worry about that next time. I'm not gonna be Captain Bunny for this fight. Um, but I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
I am excited to see what the last boss is. Because I think this is the final fight, my friends. The gate is open. I think we have to fight the ruin. It's time. Will we see Asra Nox again? What's going to happen to the series? Stay tuned for the next episode of Mealy Plays Starbound. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!